All right, 8.4 is all about surface area and volume of similar solids. Okay, some of this stuff is going to look pretty familiar. We talked about it probably way back in chapter, I think it's like three or four, where we talked about ratios of area and perimeter. Now we're just talking about surface area and volume um, and the ratio of those two. Okay, so our vocab word is a similar solid. So. Similar solids are solids that have the same shape and proportional corresponding dimensions, okay? So the corresponding to the radius is actually the, is obviously the radius, and same thing here. The corresponding to the height is the height and the height, okay? So we are going to, in example one, identify similar solids um, and identify which one is similar to cylinder A. So let's start with A and B, okay? So the height of A is 4, okay, right here, and the height of B is 3, okay, and is that similar to the radius of A, which is 6, and the radius of B, which is 5? Okay, a couple different ways you can do this. You can use cross products and determine 6 times 3 is 18, 5 times 4 is 20, so these are not equivalent, therefore A is not um, similar to B, uh, so we need to try A and C now. So same thing, the height of A, I'm going to call it HA, is uh, 4, and the height of C is 5. Um, and same thing for radius, the radius of A is 6, and the radius of C is 7.5. Okay, so here, if I do my cross product, 6 times 5 is 30, and 4 times 7.5 is also 30. So which cylinder is similar to cylinder A? It would be cylinder C. Other ways you can do this is you could take 4 and divide it by 5 in your calculator, and you get um, 0.8. And you can also take 6 divided by 7.5, and you also get 0.8. That's the other way to do that. And example two, I need to find a missing, missing, <laughs> missing measurement in the similar solid. Okay, so I'm telling you that the cones are similar, so therefore you know that they're going to be proportional. Okay, so the radius over the radius is going to be equal to um, the height. This is actually called slant height. The height over the missing height. Okay, so I have 5 over 7 equals 13 over L. This is very simple. You just use your cross products. 5L is equal to 13 times 7, which is 91. I'm going to try to make that curved. Okay, try to do the cursive L so it doesn't look like a 1. Divide both sides by 5, and your slant height, or your height, is equal to 18.2, and that is yards. All right, try these two on your own. When you are um, done, press play, and we will... Um, see if we got the same answer. All right, number one, D has a radius of 7.5 meters and a height. Oh, this is supposed to be cylinder D, sorry. Um, cylinder D has a radius of 7.5 meters. Let's go ahead and draw it. Okay, so that's 7.5, and it has a height of 4.5 meters. Okay, which cylinder in example one is similar to cylinder D? And um, we knew that A was similar to C, so let's try, let's start with B and see if that, where that gets us. If you remember, the B cylinder, I'm going to do it a different color, had a radius of 5 and a height of 3. Um, so this is going to be radius over radius, either way doesn't matter. If you flip the numerator and the denominator, totally fine. And we're going to see if that is equal to, or if that is proportional to, height over height. Okay, I'm going to simplify these two and take 5 divided by 7.5, and I get um, 0 0.6 repeating. And 3 divided by 4.5, I also get 0 0.6 repeating. Okay, so which cylinder is it similar to? The answer to this would be cylinder B. And 
Number two, the prism at right are similar. Find the missing width and length. Um, so this is kind of a multi-step. So um, 11 is proportional to L. Um, 8 is proportional to the width. And 20 is proportional to 8. Okay, so you can't solve them both at the same time, but I'm going to start here because I know both of these values. So I'm going to start with 20W is equal to 64. And if you divide 64 in both sides by 20, you get W is equal to 3.2. So that's the width. So now if this is 3.2, I can cross use cross portions on the other one. So I have 11 times 3.2 is 35.2 and that is equal to 8 L divide both sides by 8 and the new length is 4.4 these are both inches I apologize next up is our second key idea okay so this is linear measures and these are all the shapes that we've kind of looked at. This is a rectangular prism. This is a triangular prism. This is a cylinder, a cone, and a sphere. Okay, so when two solids are similar, the ratio, which is a fraction, of their surface areas is equal to the square of the ratios of their corresponding linear measures. This should look very um, familiar. And because we did something like this very, um, uh, very long time ago in chapters three or four, I can't necessarily remember. So let's look at example three, okay? So I tell you that the pyramids are similar, okay? And I need you to find the surface area of pyramid A, okay? So remember, I'm gonna write this out. The surface area, I'm gonna abbreviate SA, the surface area of A divided by the surface area of B is equal to the height of A divided by the height of B and that is all squared. Okay, so this is very, very similar. Um, it tells me the surface area here of B, so and I don't know the surface area of A, so I'm gonna have A over 600 is equal to the height of A, which is six feet, over the height of B, which is 10 feet, and I know I have to square that. Okay, so I have A over 600 equals six over 10 squared which is the same thing as A over 600 equals 36 over 100. Solving for A, use cross products. You get 100A is equal to 36 times 600, which is um, 21,600. Divide both sides by 100, and you get A is equal to 216 and that is feet squared. Notice it's squared surface areas and units squared, not cubed. <clears throat> All right, try on your own three and four. Um, press play so you can do them on your own. When you come back, the answers will be there and you can check them. All right, number three, they gave us the surface area and the width. So I have X over 608 equals five over eight and that second part has to be squared. When you cross multiply and divide both sides by 64, you get X is equal to 237.5 meters squared. And over here, the surface area of A over B is X over 110 equals 5, the diameter over 4 squared, which is X over 110 equals 25 over 16. Cross multiply, divide by 16, round to the nearest tenth, and you get 171.9 meters squared. And that is it. We'll see you tomorrow.